Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today. I actually had a Walmart haul that I wanted to show y'all and if you can tell, I am still kind of sick with that cough that I told you guys about. So I thought I would just make kind of like a vlog style and show you guys what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to go to our small group which is a group from our church of all of our friends that meet together and we usually do some kind of like study all together. And tonight I am bringing salad. Now all my girlfriends love my salad. It's really what I get requested all the time to bring. So I thought I would bring you guys along and show you what I put in it because I had a really good friend who was a vegetarian who showed me like how she made salad and I will never go back, but it is a definite crowd pleaser. So I thought I would uh, show you guys all the things. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications. I usually upload content as much as I can. I usually upload content as much as I can and I don't want you guys to miss anything. I try to bring a lot of the stuff that I learn and what works well for me to you guys because I know mommy sanity is a thing. And so I want to share that with all of you. So as you can tell, I have already gotten into my Walmart haul, which is crazy, right? But if you've watched my cleaning videos, you know that uh, my family is obsessed with clementines. I can't even open the bag, y'all. Look at this. And so I just grabbed a thing of clementines and what else is in here? Um, this is something my son bought with his allowance. If you haven't seen a video, we do give him an allowance and um, he has kind of unlimited chores, which is a little bit different than how most people do it. But yep, that is something he bought with his allowance. Um, definitely got um, some feminine stuff for me. Two things of um, just soap that I put in my bathrooms. And what is this? This is something that my husband threw in. Oh, it's some kind of car mount. Interesting. Apparently, he thinks we need this, so you know. I wonder. I know what was in these. I'll show you guys. I did get stuff for salad to make, and I'll show you guys what I got. This is the topping, actually, that I put on it, and I love this stuff. This one actually isn't um, a really bad price. It's like $1.94, and usually ones like these are way, way more than that from Walmart or from other stores. So I'll show you guys what I do with that in a second. That one. So let me show you guys these couple clothes that I got for my son because uh, I know boys don't appreciate it but I love buying my kid clothes oh my gosh I don't know what it is but so I got this shirt for $10.94 I think $95 $10.42 and then I got this shirt it's actually like a short sleeved he wears these to church a lot in the summer because I mean, gosh, y'all, in the South, you want to look nice to go to church, but it is so hot here. So I usually just make him wear a button down of some kind with nicer flat front shorts, for sure. And um, these shirts I always get at Walmart for, and this is a really good price, I feel like. Um, and they usually last a long time. So people, this is the tag for the shorts, and I want to say they were actually $12.92. I think they were a little bit more than um, what I like to pay, but a couple years ago, I have a video and I talked about these shorts and then last year I could not find them. This year I ran into them and I said, oh my gosh, we're getting them. So I bought him a khaki pair and a gray pair. They are just Wrangler, Wrangle, Wrangler? I can't even talk y'all, I'm telling you. They have cargo pockets and they're just Wrangle, Wrangler, see, I can't even say it, Wrangler shorts. So they're just Wrangler shorts. Um, the, what I really like about it, that you can tell from this tag, is that um, it definitely has an adjustable waistband, which my kid definitely needs. Um, they're really comfortable, but I really like that UV protection. And I'm huge about them having UV protection. And it does have, on the inside, this like mesh that they're talking about, it being um, like flexible, comfortable, breathable, and I really, really like these. Like I said, I had bought them not last year, but the year before, and he wore them to death. They were wonderful. So as soon as I saw them, I said, oh my gosh, we need to get them. 
this is the other thing that we got. This was actually, I think, $21 or $22. It's a four-piece little suit. Um, so it comes with the vest, the shirt, the pants, and the tie. And this looked so cute on him. I actually just had him try all this on. And if he wasn't going to kill me, I would probably have him put it all back on for you. But this was actually really cute. I got a size 8. And the, you're supposed to wear it so it's cuffed up like this which would match the tie. And y'all, it was so cute, but he's kind of in between sizing right now. And so that's why um, I got an eight instead of a 10 because the pants would just be so long on him. But I felt like it was pretty, um, I really liked the way it looked. It really looked nice. He's actually gonna wear this for Easter and I need to get him new dress shoes this year. And I figured he can wear this also for his piano recital, and that would be really good. So I think for his piano recital, we might do something where we could get, like, a little hat or something. Because the song he's playing is about a detective. But other than that, I thought this was really cute for $20. A lot of pieces. I actually really liked the be this kind of, like, beige gray tone with the gray pants. I think that was something that like I would not think to put together and I liked the way it looked so I'll see maybe if he'll do a little try on haul for you guys at the end of this but I did have him just try all this on and he was none too happy you know how boys are so here is a dress that I got it looks kind of funky I know I'm gonna try it on and see if I like it and they only had this I think it was $12.94 but they didn't have very many in my size, so I went ahead and got it. If I don't like it, I can just take it back. The thing I did like about it is the whole dress was lined, which is good because the material is not too thick or anything, so it needs to be lined. But a lot of times you don't find dresses, especially like this, that are lined. And since my mom always sewed my whole life, I kind of know a little bit about that kind of stuff. So this is my other bag I got. It was... Q-tips, some dry shampoo, y'all. This saves my life. Um, I guess my husband needed deodorant. I got these. They were on an end cap for about $2. My son decided that he really wants to just do bar soap instead of like a loofah and regular soap. I'm not really sure why, but... Um, you know, everybody has their preferences, and so I'm gonna, I'm going with it. So I got these to put on the soap, and then I just had him pick out whichever soap he wanted, um, and then, um, so he picked out this Irish Spring, and we'll see how he likes it. My dad used to wear this, y'all. He used to love, he used to, um, always buy this, and I'm sure it's not the best, but probably isn't the worst. <laughs> This is a salad bowl I always take. Um, I love Temptations, and it's like a bakeware because things don't stick to it. This just happens to be a Temptation salad bowl. I love that it's the matching tongs, and it fits a lot of salad in here. Y'all see, I'm always impressed by it. Okay, you guys, so this is all the things I put in salad. Kind of seems crazy, right? Um, I usually always get spring mix. So, um, and I always cut it up. Um, I always cut up some tomatoes, usually these grape tomatoes. I really like buying the, there's another brand, I think it's called Cherio. I like them better, but those are the ones Walmart had. Um, I usually put one cucumber, I'll chop up broccoli really fine. I chop up um, mushrooms really fine, carrots really fine. Um, usually I buy these already like sliced up radishes, but um, they didn't have any, so I, I'm going to cut those up really fine. I'll throw some cheese on top, put a um, avocado in there, and if I have some zucchini, I usually cut that up as well and throw in there, and I cut that up really fine as well. So um, it's kind of, interestingly enough, it's like a hodgepodge. People don't even realize that there's all this stuff in it. They're just like, oh my gosh. And then I usually put the toppings of some kind of nuts and um, I usually put dried cranberries and some kind of nuts. And the best ones I found were those ones I showed you guys. 
So, and I usually kind of chop these up, but the cranberries, people always think those are like raisins or something and they love them. And then um, I really like the honey roasted almonds that are sliced up. That's been my favorite. I used to just do pecans too, because you can buy pecans and cranberries together and chop them up. So I'm gonna chop all this up and get it in my salad bowl and get ready to go. All right, you guys, it's 5.52. I need to leave probably by about 6.20, 6.25. I live like less than five minutes away from my friend's house who's actually having small group. And so let's see how long this takes me. I want to say it's not going to take me very long, but you never know. So it took me all of about 20 minutes to like put together, make the salad, chop everything up. When you're chopping everything up really fine, you actually think like it's gonna take a whole long time a lot of times, but 
it really does need you just gotta not think about it just chop it really fast get done with it the biggest key i can always tell you is chop everything in really small pieces and everybody loves it i have no idea why and that was what my friend who told me he was a vegetarian she told me the same thing she's like if you do this people will love it and they do so that is it for my walmart haul and getting ready to go um, to small group tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of vlog style Walmart haul. What's your favorite thing that you bring to events? Is there something that you do that people are like, oh my gosh, you have to bring this. That's your signature item. Mine is pretty much the salad and bread usually, um, like homemade bread. But I'm always curious to see what are other people's because I need to get my potluck game up. You know, we're coming into that season where you're having to bring stuff. Um, there's going to be summer barbecues, all that fun stuff. So I would love to hear what you guys think and what your guys' favorite dishes are to prep and make. I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all later. Bye for now.